Welcome everybody. I'm gonna flobe my hair today. I flobied it not too long ago and it's medium. It kind of sticks out a little bit here when I, after I shower and so forth. So I'm gonna try it a little bit shorter. I'd had a kind of a medium shortcut. I'm gonna go shorter yet um, and leave the top because I don't have much there. So let me, let me flobe it and, and really probably my hair is gonna be about that long on the sides because very much a business cut um, and let's see how that goes so let me grab the floby doesn't take too long so why not right and I'll put oil on it again this is what I used last time for the sides and I had a little bit longer for the top With something to look just really short so this here is probably about three-eighths thick they make shorter ones they give you all kinds of different attachments not sure maybe I'll go this short that's maybe too short you can always go shorter Again, I'm gonna use my three in one oil. Putting it on the blades, little as possible. Just go back and forth, and each blade is, looks like there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about 10. So you can see it's kind of, I don't know if you can see that or not, a little bit of oil in it. I'm gonna snap this one on. And I'm gonna measure it. Actually measure it so I can see how long. Two millimeter, which is three quarters of an inch. I think that's too long. If I put the shorty one in, the shortest one that they make, It measures less than five eighths, 15 millimeters, centimeter and a half. I think I'm gonna go with that one. I'll try that. Get the back in here. Plug it in and off I go. And I did wash my hair twice. Should wash it afterwards too. Just because it, the vacuum pulls it out and leaves it out. But must, I probably won't, but we'll see how, how it goes. Let me try it.
went up and trimmed around my ears. And I tried to hold the camera up, went around my head, that didn't work. So I mounted the camera. I'm gonna twist my head around here a little bit just so you can see the finished product. Hopefully you can see it. It's pretty short and I didn't touch the top because there's not much there. So that concludes the, the flow B cut, short version. Um, next up, um, actually I, I'm still working on my garage pull down fishing pole rack. I just haven't made my mind of how I was gonna do it. It looks like I'm just gonna frame it out because I need a lightweight. I got about 17 inches above my garage hold about 12 poles and plus all my fish and tackle boxes and stuff. Um, and what I used was I had an old, the old garage doors have two springs on a rod. The rod is 20 something foot long. I cut it down to eight foot, slid one of the springs down. It had pulleys on the end. So I pulled the pulleys on each side of the eight foot rod after I cut it. And that'll use to bring up and down, be like a pull down fishing rack above the garage. I think the spring is gonna to be too too much. Even though I'm only using one of them, it looks pretty big. I'll probably, my guess is I'll probably end up using like a roll up um, air hose. Got those round things that you can, they retract. I have one in the garage. I'll probably test it with that. See if that works. Um, but we'll see. That's about it. Um, Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, hit the like, do all that good stuff, please. And uh, you can also click on my name below for, for see all my other builds. So thanks for watching. Have a good day.